Well hello there everyone, David your friendly Harry Scotsman back once again. Now, I've been out in Lidl's and I was having a look about and I thought, I wonder what I can get. I found this Chef Select Lamb Hot Pot, which is like that. So, take this sleeve off. Hmm. Sliced potato, a couple of peas, looks like a bit of carrot, and some reddish coloured sauce. This looks quite interesting. I'm going to have to double up the specs on this one because it's tiny, tiny writing. Tender lamb in a rich gravy with onions, carrots and peas topped with sliced potatoes and herbs. Hmm. 497 calories, which apparently is 25% of what I'm allowed. Three traffic lights. <laughs> Let's just say it's mostly red. There's got plenty of time, 22nd of March, today's the 13th. So let's have a wee look back here. Packaged in a protective atmosphere, produced in the UK using British, Australian and New Zealand lamb. Although every care has been taken to remove bones, some small pieces may remain. Visit them at Lidl's. Uh, there's all the nutritional bump on it. And some blurb. And where's the what's in it? What's in it is there. You can have a wee look at. All the blurb is round the corner there. And another bit's down there. So, what does it say? Ingredient. It's ridiculous when the first thing in it is 23% of it is water. That's ridiculous. Cooked sliced potatoes with rapeseed. Potatoes apparently are potatoes, rapeseed oil, salt and dried parsley. 22% is minced lamb. Oh wait a minute. 23% is the potatoes. 22% minced lamb, 6% onion, 6% carrots. Peas, tomato paste, corn flour, wheat flour, uh, Worcester sauce. And other bits. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently wheat and barley are your uh, allergens. It's 450 grams, which in a tub that size isn't bad. Now, to cook it, I can put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Don't think I'll bother doing that. Six minutes in the microwave. Piercing the lid. I don't know, i just tear the corner off. But I'm not holding my breath on this. Oh, it's, yep, yeah, it's all right. That's not bad. I've just torn the corner up. So, ooh, it smells very tomato-y. Uh, what did I say it was? Six minutes and stand for a minute. Right, pop them off and I will pop back in about seven minutes, which will go like, like that. So, uh... That's been six minutes in the microwave. It's cooling down slightly now. It is red hot in there. Um, wonder. If I put that here, give it a little flick like that. Which corner did I start to lift it on? That one there. 
So let's pull that off. Ah, right, that's that off. It's over there. Now that actually smells really good. Look at that. Let's grab my fork. Scrape round the edges, get all the wee bits that I've caught. Well, if that's the best bits. Well, I think they are. Right. Let's try a little bit of the potato. Break a bit off there. So there, it's got a wee bit of sauce on it. Well, that's hot. Mm. The potatoes are a little bit firm. Mm. That's got a nice taste. Try and break a bit more off and then pop a pea on there, bit of onion, ooh, carrot and meat. So we've got a nice bit of everything there. So here, there we go. That looks rather tasty, it looks like it's about to drip. I never understand heating everything up so hot and then you have to blow on it to cool it down again. Mm -hmm. That is so hot. Well, that has got an amazing bit of taste about it. It's like the mince is like well, the lamb has been minced. Um, I prefer if it was big lumps of lamb, but hey, lamb mince will do me. Um, I think it was two seventy nine for this. It's quite full, there's a lot of potato in it. Yeah, there's quite a lot of potato in here. You can see it a bit better like that. But this is actually not bad. It wasn't a frozen meal, it was in the chiller section in uh, Lidl's. So it's reasonably fresh. As I say, it's got until what, uh, nine days left on it uh, before it's used by date, or sell by date, or used by date it is. Still steaming hot. That potato is a bit softer, that's nice. That was a bit that was buried underneath it all. So it's cooked in with all the juices as well. The peas, let's get a single pea out. Mm. Still nice and firm. I haven't gone to mush. Bit of carrot. Okay, that has gone to mush. But again, you don't really taste this carrot because all the rest of the sauces that are on it. There's a little bit of minced uh, lamb. It's got a lamby taste to it there, but again, you've got all the rest of the stuff in there. 
kind of disguising it as well. Um, this isn't bad actually. It's better than a frozen meal. Um, the taste is really nice. There's plenty of veg in it. There's plenty of meat in it. Um, so yeah. Chef Select Lamb Hot Pot from Lidl's at £2.79 is really rather nice. It might actually be nicer done in the oven because as you can see on the little picture the potato actually sort of colours up a bit which is perfect whereas the potato here is still a bit peely wally. The only colour on it is from the sauce. But yeah, definitely have another one of these. It's really not bad. As I say, I might do it in the oven next time. Just to see if there's a difference. Um, but yeah. I'll definitely have more of these. You can taste the oregano in it. You can taste the tomato in it. Uh, it says it's garlic powder and all that sort of thing. You don't really taste the garlic at all. Or the onion powder, because there's plenty of onion in it. There's rosemary in it. You can taste that. Sure there was oregano in it. Sure I saw it. Maybe not. Right, but the rosemary I was thinking about then. So, I'm going to finish this off. Let's try another be mouthful first though. The potatoes that are at the bottom are a lot softer than the ones on the top. But they're good. Um, as it gives you a bit more texture with it being slightly firmer. These, this is actually surprisingly tasty. There's a lot of other things in there as well. Maybe try them, you know, maybe one a week or something like that. Hmm. That sliced potato is a lot softer. Equally good. They're quite a waxy potato they're using. Um, yeah. Apparently it's a taste of British classics. I mean I always loved lamb anyway. It's one of my favourite meats, lamb. Um, and that is good. Really quite nice. Doesn't need anything added. I mean, a lot of times I'll add sauces and all that. Really doesn't need it. Um, yeah. So on that note, take care of yourselves, everyone. And hopefully I'll be speaking to you all again very, very soon. See ya.